what is the story everybody so today is sunday the 26th of march why does that date mean anything to anybody on here um well last night was my first ever live podcast so if you can hear me throat's a bit weird that's why um and the reason why I t i'm saying this here is because did it go well yes and if anything it went so well that uh, we're gonna be organizing the tour before Christmas, but more on that to come. I'm just gonna lay some overlay, overlay clips of what the live was like here. So today we are actually at the world famous Yars uh, petrol station here in, I think it's Mar 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 We're in Virginia, or close to Virginia. And there's a reason why we're here and you would have seen a Virginia transport truck on the way out the road is because we are meeting none other than other famous Irish YouTuber, Rory Hennessy. Now for any of you that don't know Rory, Rory is what you'd call a proper truck driver. <laughs> he drives, uh, well did drive a Volvo FH750 for Virginia transport all across Europe, um, all through the UK, Ireland. Um, but recently, Rory has been upgraded to the flagship Scania, the 770S, the 40th uh, anniversary truck for Virginia transport. And, I mean, uh, so yeah, Rory's been upgraded to the 770 Scania and he got in contact with me and says, lad, I'm looking for a set of curtains for it. I want them Dutch style, I want them gray, and I want two pelmets. Can you help me out? And the answer to that question is yes. Now, because Rory uh, is a YouTuber colleague of mine, I said to him, Rory, let's get together. We'll film the YouTube video. I'll fit them for you for nothing. And we'll get some nice shots of the truck and we'll get to have a chat with Rory as well. And Rory was actually at the live gig last night. So I have to thank Rory for coming all the way down from uh, here last night to go to the show. And commitment to Rory. He came into work for, I think it was like five o'clock this morning for Virginia and done a run this morning. So. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go inside and get a coffee and I'm going to get a coffee for Rory and I'm going to go up and meet him in the yard and then we're going to fit his beautiful new Dutch curtains that I am supplying him. Um, now, one, you're probably wondering like, Ian, I didn't know you sell curtains. What's the story there? Well, um, very, very soon my website will be launching for my new company called Grant Auto House Limited. Now, if you are keen viewers, you would have seen in my garage at home, the sign on the wall says Grant Auto House. Now, it's always been a dream of mine to set up the online shop for the truck accessories and other bits and pieces that will be going up on the website and that will be launching very very soon but like i say we're a registered company and vat registered and all that so if you're looking to buy a set of curtains hit me up invoices the whole lot it's all legit and um yeah i'm absolutely buzzing to share that which is and the website will be launching soon i'll get i'll get more details on that soon but we're in the middle of building the website so it's kind of we kind of just had to get the ball rolling and get it out there before and that's what went on um sorry i'm jumbling my words a bit because i'm still a bit hung over so I'm gonna go in here and get a coffee and then I'll catch up with you when I get up to Rory. That's the face of a happy man right there. Rory, usually I chip in to help, but I know you're well used to doing this. <laughs> Some rig, alright, boy. Hi Rory. Oh yeah. Well. <laughs> so, so what do you think? We're gonna fit these curtains to our new 770. But first of all, I'm, I'm gonna ask you Rory, are you happy with the 770? Is it what you thought it was gonna be? Sure, I I didn't really know what to think, to be honest, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm delighted with it. It's it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love the paintwork and the bars and everything they've done to it. Yeah, it matches in well. As I was saying to you, I was suspect of black bars with the silver. <laughs> But the way the stickers are done, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. The way the stickers are done, it, it works. No it suits way. it down to the ground, yeah, yeah absolutely. But uh, right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out Rory's uh, original Scania curtains. As you can see, the, the Scania curtains are fair light, aren't they? There's yeah. not much to them at all. No. But uh, these are these are actually double as thick. Look, we'll take we'll take these out here and show you. But that's just one curtain there. <laughs> some dents in it isn't it yeah. it feels like a bath towel nearly when you take them out that's it it, it suits you 
<laughs> right, we're going to put the hooks in these because they take a, a, they're a fiddly few minutes and then I'll come back to you when the hooks are in and we'll start to hang. Rory here is also an internationally famous uh, colleague of mine on the internet. And I says, while I have him here for a few minutes, I says, I might ask him the questions that you're all probably dying to know the answers to. So Rory, my friend, yes. how did you get started on YouTube and when did you just start keeping it up like? Uh, sure. um, years ago, I was watching um, Luke Vernon and Shout out Luke Vernon. I, I was always, I always liked his videos and um, I did one or two on my own which were fairly rubbish but um, then when I started the international work a couple of years later um, I I just took a couple of clips on my phone of one trip to um, show my nephew and I jumped from I think it was 20 followers to 300 in the space of a couple of days so you, so, do you thought there was something in it then after that? Well, I just decided if people like watching them, I'd make it them. And I'm after messing up here now where it can run. Do you need a hand? We have a couple. No, I'm just counting the spaces. Oh. They look alright to me. Double check. I'll have a look at it. One, two, three, five. I'll look further back on me. One, two, three, three. Is there a. Uh, at the last. Two, uh, two, three, the last corner, if you know what I mean. With these curtains, right, you they go, there's little plastic clips inside of here. And I don't know if you can see this, I'll zoom in so you can see. There's one, two, three, four. So there's a gap of four in between. So I go one, two, three, four, five. So every fifth clip, I hang a clip. And then that's how they should look. They kind of look like um, your man out of Flintstones teeth, the clips. That's the way we'll hang them, so I'm gonna go hang these here now. We take things serious around three, here. Four. <laughs> one, two, three, a uh half. -huh. One, two, three, right. And here on the one, let's go back. How are you getting on? Are you alright with it? Yeah. One, two, three. As you say, dry is gone. You do, don't they? I wasn't joking. <laughs> you'd be looking at them and you'd be judging, or you'd be doubting yourself half the time. So, I'm going to get first hand feedback here from Rory. Rory was at the live show last night, and Rory, can you attest that it wasn't shy? Well, it was a brilliant show. <laughs> I was um, I was very impressed. Oh, thank you very much, my man. I was delighted to have you. Rory sent me a text message. Uh, a couple of days, just literally two days before. You must only found out that you were off to be able to go, were you? Yeah, to be honest, I thought I'd be shipping out Friday night or whatever, so... Well, he didn't, he came, he came to the party. Well, he didn't come to the party because he was in work the next morning, yeah. so... Rory, I, when I it... Was, I, was start, I was starting it, um, I put my card in at four o'clock this morning, so... <laughs> That's some man, isn't it? Rory, I can't thank you enough, enough for coming last night, I really appreciate it. It's good to have you there, and the start or the rumor is that Rory might join me for my next live one because there, we could potentially be going to Cork well, on the next one. It depends on the pay, like. Well, <laughs> well, you know what I mean. The money must be good over here on the internet, so we'll we'll, we'll, we'll suss it out, Rory. Don't don't you worry. Yeah. One fifty a day. That's how that is. <laughs> so, Rory, a question that's going to be born in everyone's mind, yeah. Yeah. What do you rather, or what what do you think is more powerful, the seven fifty that you just got out of Volvo, or this? Well, um, this boat, I'll put in a boat. Right. Um, this, I'm, I'm all ears. This has the, the power mode and the kick down and everything activated. So do you reckon like the second you put down the boot, it's, it's ready to go compared but to the Volvo? Like? You can switch this into power mode and stuff. Yeah. Whereas all that was deactivated in the Volvo. Really? Yeah. That's strange. She's no it? kick down or anything. And was that like through the company or is that true like uh, I, I don't know yeah. I, I never asked because um, I, I, I know I remember at home when I the Volvo at home yeah we it didn't come as sta it's all in it but it's not activated as standard you have to get them to plug it in to activate oh, you're it oh joking really yeah. so, so that, when you have the, pe uh, the button on the back of the gear stick when you press it and it's done nothing so it's done, constantly done nothing. and you know when you put the foot down there's the extra little click to drop a gear yeah that's deactivated as well and so did it like when you were going up a hill in the 750 did it just like 
a take a while to get into the gear where she was going. Yeah. And because you're not going to manual mode. Well, you, you could go into manual, but yeah. you, you'd know you didn't have the kick, you know, the yeah. little kick down. Oh. You didn't have that. That's that's a shame, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm actually, I to hear that. Um, as well as I, I think lately, I, I reckon the the gearbox needed an update or something. She, I, On the other shift? Yeah, it was gone a bit dead or slow, you know. Yeah. And um, and what and if you had to choose a new one tomorrow now this is very cliche because we're sitting in a brand new <laughs> 770 right now like but if you had to choose between the two what would you rather? I'd say I'd nearly go for this if they were the same spec it just says um, better room in the cab or whatever no I found it very hard to because I've been in a Volvo since 2014 basically yeah I find, found it I took a lot of time trying to reorganize everything and because the pockets or the drawers and all that are laid out differently and up the top I've like the middle drawer there is taken up with the microwave yeah and there's a coffee machine over there, so I do. I, and I've <laughs> and is no, there back lockers? Is there I've, no, I've no lockers in the back, so I had to rejig the way I do things, do things yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that. But once I got that sorted, I'm happy enough. Yeah. So you're happy with it anyway? Is, oh, the, is yeah. the moral of the story? Del delighted with it, yeah. So everyone in the office will go. <laughs> <laughs> now um, I'm, I'm delighted to see you get this because it just adds to the story of. Uh, of you and the YouTube, do you know what I mean? It gives us, gives you more things to talk about and makes more interesting content for everyone to enjoy. Like you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's why it's like with, with YouTube and stuff, it's mad because like everyone wants to see the new and they want to see it straight away. But it's nice to see a man like yourself and you drove that 750 for what, best part of three years. Yeah. And now you're you're moving on to this as they as Virginia are progressing in uh, in transport and it's just it's just cool to see man I'm delighted to see that you got the 770 because I suppose they probably know what they're at as well because they know you're making the videos and they want people to see it really as well yeah. I'd say would that be another thing? Oh sure it, it could be I don't, I don't know <laughs> we won't make assumptions we're not paid to do they, that <laughs> um, they asked me did I want it and of course I said yes absolutely I'm getting somewhere here now, alright. How are you getting on over that side? I didn't even check. Alright. The hooks are as handy in, in the Scandians, aren't they? They just uh, see the see the way they just slide on there with the teeth overlapping? Yeah, yeah. Oh the Volvo ones are a bleeding oh, they're a disaster lot. I'm not gonna Um I would blame most of it on Don Corton to be honest with you. It was ninety percent his fault. I'd and it it was ninety nine percent his fault. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a it was a class night. I'm ready to get to come out with us after, which are, there's always oh, yeah, an excellent. I, I was, I was set, uh, pissed off about that, alright. Ah, sure, look, come out, there, be, there will be more, so don't you worry. I know, I know I'll get you out, don't you worry. What, where are you pleating them? Uh, I pleat them, so basically I pull, see, so I'll just say, sorry, I have to hook this back on, but see the way, there's a gap here, right? Pull the centre out. Pull, pull the centre out, yeah, and just pull yeah. it back like that. But I'm not letting it hook. In fairness, Rory, you gave it a good go now. It looks, well, it looks good. I was starting, but it's just not. It's, it's the bottom of it is not. Don't worry, Rory. I got you back. Once you and the worst yeah. thing is with these because you know these aren't, these aren't pleated, pleated yet. They're like nearly straight. Yeah. Once you put the pleats in them and you leave them sitting there, and the heat gets into them over a day or two. The pleats nearly set like so. Yeah, it's grand. Uh, actually, the the original court. The um. They pleated nicely in this. They I, see, I they always seen. I'll put it in a screenshot of Rory's videos in the Volvo. You'll always see the curtains. They were perfect. They, they held perfect. Yeah. And they were only the bog standard. I Volvo. thought they were your own curtains in it. They actually no, look no, like it. No, the the that was about the only extra that was in the 750. The 750s come with the the green, the bits and pieces. No, on it, it was not. kind of a mustard color, but it matched the patch and the yeah. seat. No, because I've seen that in your videos. I'll put in a, yeah. a picture of Rory's videos with the curtains. You'll see them. They're always perfect. And I was one thing I always held. I was like, those curtains are always fucking cleaned Actually, perfectly. That's one thing. The the curtain come right back like that. But you can't let the mirror and the scan you is way further back. Yeah. The mirror and the on well, the, we can fix that. I just have it around the bottom of the door. Oh, that's yeah. just where I put them. Well, like I I like to be still be able to see the yeah. mirror 
and the mirror and the Volvo was out here, whereas the Scania one is back here. Yeah, it's it's a strange old setup, isn't it? It's, it's like the doors are nearly further forward on it, the Scania yeah, compared to it's, it's, because in the Volvo, you can, it's actually mad that we're all standing, we're both of us are standing here because now that you can notice it compared to the Volvo, but the Volvo dashboard nearly came out further, the, and the doors and were back a bit further. I, and the bunk is halfway down. You can still, yeah. the two of us can still stand. Yeah. There's a, hang on, just for reference, it looks like it's real tight in here in the camera, but it's actually not. It's actually it's grand. Like there's loads yeah. of room in this, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I found to find the Volvo dash is a bit more intruding than this. Yeah, and the bunk you have to have it shoved up out of the way. Yeah, in the Volvo. I'm lucky enough. I didn't have the top bunk of my one. That's why I literally, when I was specking it new, I didn't bother putting it in because I knew and they and they rattle, the rattle out of that top bunk yeah. in the Volvo it used to drive me insane. That's why I never ordered it. It's nice to finally meet up with a YouTube mate. <laughs> and we can both go, this is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to be on camera together. Rory, thanks a million, bud. No and, water, uh, We aren't going for a point now before I go home. <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. Never, never. So not, in lads, the, not in the school night. Not in the school night, that's right. Lads, thanks a million for watching Rory, thanks a million. And if you haven't checked out Rory's channel already, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can go follow us. Rory's channel travels all over Europe and makes a show of me. So, Rory, <laughs> thanks a million, bud. All See right. you again, lads.